live from Denver, Colorado, it's theCUBE. Covering Commvault Go 2019. Brought to you by Commvault. Hey, welcome back to theCUBE's coverage of Commvault Go 19. Stu Miniman is here with me, Lisa Martin, and we are wrapping up two days of really exciting wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the new Commvault, and we're very pleased to welcome a couple of special guests onto the program. To help us wrap up our two days, we have Miranda Foster, the Vice President of Worldwide Communications for Commvault, and Al Bundy is here, the co-founder, former COO, and board member. Welcome, Miranda and Al, great to have you on the program. Thanks, Thank Lisa. You. So, a lot of energy at this event, and I don't think it has anything to do with the rarefied air here in the Mile High City. <laughs> Al, let's start with you. Well, there's other things in Colorado, you know. There are, yeah. <laughs> they don't talk about I've that. I've heard of a couple things. They, 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 I talked about that on stage yesterday. So, Al, you have been with Commvault, as I mentioned, co-founder. What an evolution over the last 20 years. Can you take us back? Sure, Lisa. Um, yeah, and it's been, it, it's, it's really kind of cool to see it coming together at this point, but if you go back 20 years when we started this, the whole idea was around data, and remember we walked into a company that was focused on optical storage. Um, we decided it would be a good company to invest in um, for two reasons. One, we thought they were really great people here, very creative and innovative, and two, it was a great space. So if we believed, we believed data would grow, and that was a pretty decent thesis to go with. You were right. Yeah, and then, then it started moving from there. So I tell people I wasn't burdened with facts, so I didn't understand why all these copies were being made of the same set of data. So we developed a platform and an architecture focused on indexing it, so you just index it once, and then could use it for many different purposes. And that just kept moving through the years with this very data-centric approach to storage management, backup, protection, et cetera. It was all about the data. I happened to be lucky and said, you know, I think there's something to this thing called NAS and SAN and <laughs> storage networks and you know, all those things. And I also said, we have to plan for, for on scale on our solution of a million X. Now it was only off a magnitude of about a thousand <laughs> on that, but it was the right idea. You know, you had to build something to scale. And, and we came in and we wanted to build a company. We didn't want to just flip a company, but we thought there's a long-term vision in it. And if you take it all the way to the present here, it, it's really, um, it's, it, it feels really good to see where the company came from. It's a great foundation, and now it will propel off this foundation um, with a, a similar vision with great modern execution and management. Yeah, uh, Al, when we had the, kind of the chance to talk with you last year uh, at, at the show in Nashville, it was setting up for that change. Yes. So I, I want to get you know, your view. There, there are some things that the company was you know, working on and are being continued, but there's some things that, you know, Bob Hammer, you know, it would not have happened under his regime. So I want to get your viewpoint as to, uh, the, you know, the new Commvault, you know, what, what, is, what are some of those new things uh, that are moving forward with the company that might not have uh, in, in the previous days? Yeah, that's a good question, Stu. I think a, a lot of the innovation that you've seen here um, would have happened, maybe not as quickly. Um, we, the company obviously acquired Hedvig. Uh, we were on a very similar path, but to do it ourselves. So you had kind of a modern, we need to get to market quicker with some real pros. I think um, the, the evolution of redoing sales management, essentially, was probably the biggest a shift that needed to be under a, a new regime, if you will. Yeah, so Miranda, making these transitions can be really tricky from a marketing standpoint. Talk, talk us through a bit some of the, how do you make sure trusted yet innovative and new uh, that, 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 that you've accomplished at this show? Well, trusted is obviously the most important because the, Bob, the, the brand that Bob and Al built um, really embodies reliability for what we provide to our customers. I mean, that's what gives them the peace of mind to sleep at night. 
But I'll tell you, Sanjay has been with us for just a, eight months now, February of 2019, and it's been busy. Um, you know, we've done a lot of things from a point Sanjay, transition with Bob and Al. Um, to his point, we've, we've acquired Hedvig. We've introduced this new SaaS portfolio, and you're exactly right. What, what we need to do is make sure that the reliability that customers have come to rely on Commvault for translates into um, you know, what we're doing with the new Commvault. And I think we've done a really good job. We've put a lot of muscle behind making sure, particularly with Metallic, that it was tried, it was trusted, it was beta tested, we got input from customers, partners, industry influencers, we really built it around the customer. So I think uh, the brand that Commvault brings uh, will translate well into the things that we've done with these, with these new shifts and movements within the company. On, on that question, Stu, as well, um, I think Miranda is a good example of somebody that was with the company before, a tremendous talent. Um, she's got new opportunities here, and she's run with it. So it's kind of that balance of some of the un understood the fundamentals and the way we're trying to run the business, and she's grasped uh, the new world as well, so. And Rob as well, right? Rob in, in, in his new role. Yeah, that's a, another good point. So th that was all part of the transitioning here, and, and Sanjay and the team have been very careful on trying to keep that balance. Well, change is really difficult anywhere, right? Dissect any element of life. Then you look at a business that's been very successful, has built a very strong, reliable brand for 20 years, big leadership changes, not just with Sanjay, but all of the leadership changes. You know, analysts said, yeah. Commvault, all right, you've got to upgrade your sales force. We're seeing a lot of, of movement in the area. Yeah. You got to enhance your marketing. We're seeing Metallic, Hedvig, new routes to market, new partner focus. Foci? Fo focus this is. Uh, we're also seeing this expansion in the market. So what folks were saying, you know, a year ago, Commvault is answering in a big way, and to your point, in a fast way. That's not easy to do. You've been here nine years, you know, since the beginning. Can you give us a little bit of a perspective, Miranda, about some of the things that were announced at the show? Sure. How excited everybody is, customers, partners, Commvault folks. How do you now extend the message and the communications from Go globally after the show ends? That's an awesome question, and I'm really passionate about this. So, you know, Monday we announced Metallic. We announced a new head of channels and alliances in Mercer Row. We had crazy technology um, innovation announcements with Activate, uh, with the acceleration of the integration with Hedvig, uh, with the momentum release that we put out today. We're also doing cool stuff with our corporate social responsibility in terms of sponsoring the new Business Avengers Coalition. That's something that Chris Powell is really championing uh, here at, at the show and also within Commvault. So we're very excited about that. And then when you add people like yourselves, you, you, you know, the Tech Field Day folks, because not everybody can be here, right? Not everybody can be at Go. So being able to extend the opportunity for, for folks to participate in Commvault Go through things like theCUBE, through things like Tech Field Day, and, and using our social media tools, and just getting all of the good vibes that are here, because as Al says, this really is an intimate show, but we try to extend that um, to anybody who wants to follow us, to anybody who wants to be a part of it, and that's something that we've really focused on the last couple of years, to make sure that folks who aren't here can, in, can, can in embrace uh, the environment here at Commvault Go. Yeah. Uh, Al, it's such an important piece that you're here helping with the transition. Uh, you talked about it's important that some of the existing talent uh, you know, get new roles and, and do, do responsibility. Uh, going forward, you know, what, what, what's your role going to be and uh, what should we expect to see from you personally? Somebody's got to mow the lawn. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> um, but yes, do I, I'll stay on the board. Um, we're talking through that. I think I'll be a very active board, not just the legal side of the equation. Um, try and stay involved with customers and, and strategies and, and even uh, potential acquisitions, those kinds of things. Um, I'm also wandering off into university environment. Uh, my alma mater is the University of Iowa. I'm on the board there and uh, I'm involved in setting up innovation centers and entrepreneurial programs and that kind of thing. Um, I'll keep doing my farming thing and uh, actually have some ideas on that. There's a lot of technology, as you guys know, yes. attacking that space. So, And like I said, I'll try to keep 
a lot of things linked back into uh, Combo. What Al can have confidence in is that I will keep him busy. <laughs> so there's that. And then I will also put on the table, we, we agree to disagree with our uh, college athletic loyalties. So I'm a big But Kansas. she's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> because we don't compete really, yes, right? right? So I mean, w but if Iowa and Kansas were ever to play, then we would just We'd have politely issues. disagree, yeah. Well, that's good that you have this agreement <laughs> in place. Al, I'd love to get some anecdotal feedback from you of some of the things that you've heard over the last three days. With all this news, all these changes, what are you hearing from customers and partners who you've had relationships with for a very long time? I think they're, I, I think they're all really excited, but, and maybe I'm biased, <laughs> but they like the idea that we're trying to not throw out all the old um, focus on customers, focus on technologies, continue the innovation. I'm pleased that we, Miranda and the team started taking this theme of what we do to a personal level, you know, recovery and those kind of things. It isn't just the money right. and the business side, it's, it's a really an effect on a personal's lives. Mm -hmm. And that resonates, I hear that a lot. Yes. Um, I asked our bigger customers, and, and they've loved us for our support, how we take care of them, the, the intimacy of the partnership, you know, and I think they feel pleased that that's staying, yet there's a lot of modernity, if that's a good word. Um, I think foci was what you were looking for <laughs> before, but, but um, I think it's the blend of things, and I think it really excites people. We've heard that a lot. You guys did a great job with having customers on stage. And yeah. as a marketer who does customer marketing programs, I think there's nothing more validating than the voice of a customer. But something today that, that I thought was a pivot on that, that, that Commvault did well, is Sonic Healthcare was on main stage and then he came on to the program. And I really liked how we talked about some of the failures that they've been through. You know, yeah. we had the NASA talking yesterday, NASA, 60 years young, very infamous probably for failure is not an option, but it is a very real possibility whether you're talking about space flight or you're talking <laughs> about data protection and cyber attacks and the rise of that. And it was really, I'd say refreshing to hear yeah. the voice of a customer say, these are the areas in which we failed. This is how Combat helped us recover and how much better and stronger are they, not just as a company, as Sonic Healthcare, but even as an individual person responsible for that. That was a really great message that you guys were able to extend to the audience today. And we wanted to get that out on our program I, I love that as well. I think that was good. I've also, back on, driving innovation. I always felt one of my biggest jobs was to not punish people that failed. Good. I, you know, with the whole engineering team, the, the bright people in marketing, I, I would be very down on them if they didn't try. But I never wanted them to feel bad about trying and uh, never punish them. And one of the things Matthew said on main stage, first of all, I love, he's great. He's been a longtime Commvault supporter. I love his sense of humor. Yeah. Um, he said, you know, Commvault came to me and said, can you identify, you know, your biggest disaster recovery moment? And he was like, no, because there's so many. Yes. Right? Like, there's so many, when you're responsible for this, it's just the unpredictability of it is, is crazy. And so he couldn't identify one, but he had a series of anecdotes that I think really helped the audience identify with and understand this is these are big time challenges that we're up against today and hearing his use case and how Commvault is helping him solve his hard problems I think was really cool. You're right, I loved that too. He said, I, I couldn't name one, there are so many. That's yeah. reality, yeah. right? As data proliferates, which every industry is experiencing, there's a tremendous amount of opportunity. There's also great risk as technology advances for good the bad actors also have <laughs> access to that sort of technology. So his honesty, I thought, was, was refreshing, but spot on, and what a great example for other customers to listen to the, all right, to your point, I, if I punish people for failure, we're not going to learn from it. Yeah, you'll never move forward. So, Miranda, so much that we learned this week at the show, a lot of branding, a lot of customers. Uh, I, I know some people might be taking a couple of days off, but what should we expect to be seeing from Commvault uh, post-go this year? Continued innovation. We're not letting our foot off the gas at all. Um, just continuing innovation as, as, as we integrate with Hedvig, 
continued acceleration with Metallic. I mean, those guys are aggressive. They were built as a startup within an enterprise company, built on Commvault's enterprise foundation. Those guys are off and running. They are motivated, they're highly talented, highly skilled, and they're going to market with a solution that is targeted at a specific market, and uh, those guys are really, really ready to go. So, continued innovation with Hedvig, integra uh, sorry, integration with Hedvig, with Metallic. I think you're just going to be seeing a lot more from Commvault in the future. On the heels of what we consider humbled, proud uh, leadership with the Gartner Magic Quadrant, you know, the one-two punch with the Forrester Wave, I think that you're just going to be seeing a lot more from Commvault in, in terms of how we're really getting out there and aggressive. And that's not to mention, Al, um, you know, what we do with our, our core solutions. I mean, today we just yep. announced a bunch of enhancements to, to the core yep. technology, which is, which is the bread and butter of of what we do, so we're not letting the foot off the gas to be sure. The, the team's staying really, really uh, aggressive, Stu. And the other thing I'd add as a major investor that I'm expecting is sales. <laughs> Yeah, I, and Al, I, I'd love just your, your, your final thoughts, the, the culture of Commvault, because while there's some acceleration and there's some change, I think some of the fundamentals stay the same. Yeah, it, it's, it's right, Stu, and again, that's why I feel we're at a good point on this transition process. You alluded to it earlier, but I feel really good mm -hmm. about the leadership that's in. They've treated me Terrifically, I'm almost almost part of the team. Um, I love that they're they're trying to leverage off all the assets that were created in this company. Technology, obviously, platform architecture, support base, our support capabilities. I I, I told Sandy today. I wish she really would have nailed the part about. And by the way, support and our capabilities with customers is a huge differentiator. Yes. And it was part of our original, Stu knows, he's heard me forever, our original DNA, we wanted to focus on two things, great technology, keep the great technology lead, and customer support and satisfaction. So those elements, now you blend that, Stu, with really terrific sales force, as Ricardo says, have you guys talked with Ricardo, I assume? But anyway, the head of sales, is hiring great athletes, um, particularly for the enterprise space. Then you take it with a real terrific marketing organization that's focused with modern techniques and analytics and all those things. Uh, you know, it's, it's in my opinion, as an investor especially, I'm expecting really good things. That bar's been set. Well, I can't think of a better way for Stu and me to end our coverage. Al, Miranda, thank you. This has been fantastic. You got to go, you got a lawn to mow. You got a vacation <laughs> to get on to. And you need some wordsmithing with focus. You're right, <laughs> and you have a flight to catch. And you I do, <laughs> yeah, in five hours. Oh, you guys, <laughs> you guys were terrific. Thank Appreciate you, it. this has been awesome. Hashtag new Calm Vault For our guests and Stu Miniman, I'm Lisa Martin. You've been watching theCUBE's coverage of Calm Vault Go 19. We'll see you next time.